Hi, today I want to tell you about a book that is written by an author that has become one of my favorites. His name is John Sheska. This book is called Knucklehead. And if you know John Sheska very well, you know he writes for boys. Some of his books are Guys Read, Guys Read Do, and the Frankenstein series. So, this book is actually a biography. This is a book that's about John Sheska's childhood. John grew up with, let's find him here. Uh-oh. Five brothers. This book tells all about the growing up with five brothers and his parents. One of the, my favorite chapters in here is called, Sorry Mom. I'll read you a little bit of it. I know that little bone, you know that little bone in the front part of your shoulder, the collarbone? Did you know you can break that bone with just seven pounds of pressure? We didn't know that either, but we found out about it when we let our little brother Greg play football with us. Well, it wasn't exactly football. It was a game we called slaughter ball. One guy would throw the football up in the air. The rest of us would try to catch it. Then once you caught it, you had to run around and try not to get it get slaughtered by everyone else. It was a great game because you got to smash into a lot of people and then end up in a giant pile completely squashing the guy who had the ball. Greg was that was kind of tall and a bit a little bit scrawny. He was one of the youngest guys and his bones must have been still growing a little because one time we were playing slaughter ball and everybody jam piled on the ball carrier. Greg got squished somewhere in there and something more than seven pounds must have squished him because his collarbone cracked. We took him home and said, sorry, mom, we broke Greg. There's not much doctors can do for a cracked collarbone. They just wrap you up in a sling that makes you look like you're wearing shoulder pads. Then you wait for your collarbone to fix itself. Greg's collarbone got good at fixing itself. I think we broke him three or four times. We didn't mean to, it just happened playing slaughter ball, jam pile or swing jump or Bicycle Demolition Derby, which explains why we have a lot of pictures of Greg looking like a third grade football pro, pro football player. That's just one sample of a really good chapter in this book. It goes through Cub Scouts and tells about his parents and his grandparents and some of the things that they did and why they did it. One of the reasons that the book is called Knucklehead is explained in the book. You'll have to read it. It's one of my favorite books. I recommend it. Thanks for listening.